Hi and welcome back to another episode of Beers Brothers. My name is Theo, your favorite YouTuber. My channel is dedicated to reviewing a curated selection of pale ales, craft lagers, IPAs and more on my journey to discover some of the finest options out there for you to enjoy. And we're back. On this episode, I'm gonna be reviewing one of my favorite breweries in the UK right now. You may have already heard them. If you haven't checked them out, uh, they go by the name of Cloudwater. If that didn't, name doesn't spring to mind, Google them. And if you can't be bothered to Google, look in the link below because I will provide a little bit of information on where you can get their beers. They are very much in the top, top five, maybe even top three in the UK. They are killing it right now. They've been around since 2014 and they are now recognized to be one of the global craft breweries in the world, competing with Dea, competing with the other half brewery, Trillium, The Vale, you name it. I mean, they really are uh, Verdant. Sorry, I just should have mentioned Verdant as well. Very much competing at the very top of the pack when it comes to creativity and really pushing the boundaries of what can be done in, in brewing. I mean, modern brewing, the science of brewing, it's just incredible what they're doing. So I'm super excited to get them on my channel. You know, in fact, I'm actually very fortunate because uh, Cloudwater are, they have a London-based tap rooms um, down uh, Bermondsey Beer Mile, which is about 10 minutes cycle for me. So, you know, as soon as this lockdown is over, I'm gonna be on my bike, heading down there to the tap rooms and drinking the fresh beers. Absolutely, I mean, I can't wait. But yeah, I'm, I'm so excited to have them finally on my channel. And um, this is gonna be a big one. I'm so buzzing for you, to, you guys to see uh, what we have in store. Okay, there you have it. There's the can. Nice artwork, right? Yeah, I definitely agree. Uh, sixth birthday cake as it's their sixth year in the game. Yeah, I like it. I mean, 8%, there you go, 440 mil. This one is actually called Applies Virtual Background. Just see that there. I think that's quite a funny name, Applies Virtual Background, because we're obviously in this Zoom era where we're having to not do birthday parties. We're having to create birthday parties via Zoom. So the virtual background is uh, very fitting and um, I guess it's a sign of the times, you know? So I, I, I like the name. It's a play on the sort of situation that we're in right now. Hopefully one day we'll be able to actually celebrate birthdays normally in person, uh, but yeah. Awesome name. Um, I'm super excited to get this one open. I mean, this is um, a double IPA. It's 440 mil. It ranges from about £7.20 to £8, I would say, um, depending on when you get it from. I think these are pretty much sold out now. You might be able to get some online. Uh, again, the links are below, um, so I will uh, let you know of any stockists that do have them in. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really uh, intrigued to see what they've done, especially for their birthday beer. So. We'll see. Right, let's get this can open. Ooh. Smell that from here. It's like a, um, a peach apricot. There's almost like a coconut hue. Yeah, there's a, there's a thickness, there's a sort of pina colada sort of look to, to this beer. So yeah, I'm just loving uh, the visuals. Oh, sensational. Really uh, coming through. You're getting a lot of tropical fruits, passion fruit, guava. There's a little bit of apricot. I do smell almost a very light tint of, yeah, like peach. Mmm, um, butte. Oh my God, yeah, that is something else. I mean, just look at that color. What I'm seeing is it's almost like a pastel orange, like a terracotta. It is. Wow, that's so good. Mmm, whoa. Now, first thing to mention is this is an 8% beer. I mean, I don't taste any alcohol at all. I'm not sure if I'm being tricked or deceived, but genuinely, this just tastes like juice. Just tastes like, like a 0%. There's literally no taste of alcohol and it's 8%, it's a double IPA. How they manage that is beyond me. These guys, oh my God. It's just so soft, it's so easy to go down. I mean, literally, I could down this right now. I really could. <laughs> I'm not joking, like, it's so easy to, to drink and it's an 8% beer. Bear in mind, that's like 
nearly double most average drinks that you get on the market. So to be able to just to drink it that easily, I mean, that's that's a fine, fine beer. Taste wise, it's very easy going, very chuggable. You know, there's just no resistance at all. Like you don't feel too sweet, too bitter. There's, it's just very in the middle, perfectly done, perfectly done. It's delicious. It's delicious. It's so soft, it's creamy, it's it's pillowy. I mean, the, the word pillowy, I don't often use, but it's um, candy floss. You know, it's just so light and um, airy on your on your mouth. So the mouthfeel is very soft and um, yeah, it's just it's just such a great beer. What a absolute wonder of a birthday beer this is, guys! You need to check this out. A hundred percent. This is levels, man. This is really setting the bar. So, I've just tried out this beer, which is called Applies Virtual Background. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit lost for words here because I've just had a double IPA and I don't feel like I've had any alcohol taken into my system at all. It's just bewildering. I'm baffled. I just don't understand what's happening right now. I'm now thinking about how I'm gonna rate this beer. Honestly, I'm thinking, sort of 9, 9.5. And you know why? Because how do you make a beer that's full of so much flavor, has an alcohol content of 8% and can drink that easily? I mean, that is just craft brewing at its finest. Honestly, it has to be. This, I mean, this was just like fruit juice. Genuinely, it was like uh, punch, you know, so, something that you just have at like a barbecue. It was like alcohol free, you know? I'm just, I'm just bamboozled. It's, it's an amazing drink. And the difference here is that it's a double IPA that isn't overwhelming uh, with all these sort of headline flavors. It's just very, it's very natural. It, it's just, all the flavors, all the juiciness and the rich blends of fruits that are coming through just, just cascade. You know, they, they, they come in very easily. You're not sort of, you're not really trying to pinpoint which fruit is in is in the beer it just tastes like a very nice combination which is just very very well done the smallest and the finest touches that have gone into this brewing process have created this masterpiece of a beer i would 100 percent recommend it and i would 100 percent recommend cloud water in general because these guys they're the top of the game i mean they're they're, they're, they're legit um so shout out to cloud water brew happy belated birthday because uh you guys Killed it! Absolutely killed it! This 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 was insane! Absolutely smashed it! So look, guys, as I say, if you like the content, please subscribe. Don't forget to like and share, and and just, just forward this stuff to your friends, to your grandmother, to your to your dad, to your uncle, to your auntie. This this, this beer needs to be recognized around the country this needs to get recognition so keep keep following us keep subscribing keep liking the content add your comments if you try this beer out let us know what you think i want to hear exactly how you feel until next time cheers